Where are you in from? I came from near the village of Geisha, about 45 minutes out. Okay. Okay. So and why are you here? I want to introduce I'm here to protest mandates. Government know. should not rule our lives. Um, so we should have choice in medical decisions. We should have choice in who we meet, who we associate. There are some rules we should obey that are there in place for a reason. And, uh, but the government should not break those rules as well, as they expect us not to break them. Yeah. What outcome would you hope for? Uh, the outcome, the, the first outcome should be to end the mandates, to end vaccine programs and masking. I'm an engineer. I know the masking thing is not a medical question, it's an engineering question. The mask either works or it doesn't, and it clearly does not, and there are some signs behind that. Um, I think the, our Dr. Tam said it best about in, uh, I think it was March 2020, masks do not work. Then they said they do work. Then they said you got a double mask, now you got a triple mask, now you got a special mask. Now the mask never changed from the beginning. If they worked at the beginning, they should work now. If they didn't work then, they still don't work now. And welcome my dear friends. Um, if you could speak to somebody who disagreed but was willing to listen, what would you say? I would say let's sit down, have a drink, talk it over. We may not agree, but, but you should understand our side because the science, you know, it's a, it's a conversation. People, you agree with the facts or you don't. You bring something more to the table and you may change my mind and I'm perfectly open to that. I think first two weeks, three weeks of COVID, we stayed at home. And after about four weeks, it was starting to be clear that there's something foul here because the media were talking things that you did not see on the ground. At the time I was in Toronto, people were not dying on the streets. We were told they were. There was none dying on the streets. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, do you feel your views are represented by the media? Do I feel? Do you feel your views are represented in the media? So uh, it depends on which media. I mean, the CBC, I call them the C brainwashing company. Um, we all know why. The CTV is about the same. I'm, I think you guys fairly represent who's out there. All you guys out on YouTube. Um, I know YouTube censoring you guys. I've been watching the streams in Ottawa every day because I have a desk job. You know, I'm I am privileged. I did. I didn't lose my job. I got to work from home. But uh, that doesn't mean that I should use my privilege to not speak up for those who are not. And so I appreciate the work you guys are doing because you're interviewing people and you're not censoring us. You don't take pieces out of context. You give the whole story and people should make up their mind if if they believe that person or that person. But not if you believe that quote or that headline. Or not. So and thank you what you're doing.